Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be going to discuss a cool and an advanced phishing technique which is named as browser in the browser attack. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. So guys, as I told you earlier, like this particular attack named as browser in the browser attack is a bit advanced uh, phishing kind of thing. And all the credit goes to the author of this particular uh, research, author of this particular research, who is named as Mr. Docs. I will leave the link for this particular blog post as well as uh, this particular github which is related to this blog in the description below so that you can check it out. So we all know that uh, if you see like if you take a traditional phishing URL we try to uh, create a URL a sample or a fake login page okay uh, we try to throw that on some domain a fake domain kind of thing but nowadays if you can see like the users even got more uh, intelligent and you can see like they will be looking into this particular domain of what they are logging in so the chance of getting uh, like their credentials is really really low uh, by the tra traditional phishing stuff okay but uh, but what this particular uh, uh, research is all about is regarding how a pop-up login windows uh, thing can be used to exploit this particular stuff so if you can take an example of any application like uh, here the author took the canvas he and uh, what you call an example so they uh, not all the applications use uh, their own login server or uh, login databases in order to allow their customers some use some third party services like it can be sign in with google sign in with facebook sign in with uh, apple etc like that okay so so i think you guys had done that previously so if you click on that what happens is like you get a small pop-up right a small pop-up which allows which asks you to sign in so that is what uh this particular uh blog post or this particular attack uh tries to exploit okay so what happens is like here the author okay author tries to replicate this particular pop-up window here okay so you can see like uh, this is the real original thing and the fake one okay so so you can see with the help of javascript and see guys this uh, project is all about this attack is all about like you need to know the html uh, css and the javascript and you can do edit any page that you want to okay so you can see like you can even uh, create your own page so i'll do let you know uh, what all this about all this part about in a while okay so there are some few templates available so this is uh, that is all regarding this particular repository okay uh, what happens is like uh, you can the things that are available are for windows chrome as well as the mac os chrome but uh, as i told you earlier this is related to html and css so you can feel free to do your own stuff okay so now coming back uh, to this repository you can see a few repo a uh, few uh, templates here okay so here you can see like uh, there is some usage part like uh, so while you download this but when you download this particular repository and when you navigate to any of this folder you'll find some few files here okay like a index.html and javascript file as well as a css file and the rest are nothing but uh, images okay so what you need to do is like you can edit those stuff okay with the help of some uh, with the help of any editor and also uh, this particular uh, by default this particular uh, repository is all about this microsoft only so but you can feel free to change your uh change uh the logo or change the stuff so what happens is like you need to change this logo.svg so let us assume that you want to uh, do this for a facebook stuff so you need to find out some facebook.svg here like facebook logo.svg and you need to replace that and uh, dark mode and light mode etc like that okay so uh now let's go back so now if you can see so here uh, there is a i cloned this particular repository guys and you can see that we, we got some few files here okay uh, like few templates kind of stuff so let us go to the like chrome light mode for an example okay and uh, let me open this with the help of uh, uh, brave browser here so now 
I took this particular uh, a white page or uh, a light mode as an example here. So when I open that, you can see a small pop up here. So that as I told you earlier, this is what uh, we are trying to cache or we are trying to exploit. So you can see you got a pop up, right? So once if you try to move this uh, away, you can move that. You can really move that because this is nothing but a simple HTML stuff. So all this thing. Uh, this is nothing but a code, a simple code, a HTML code. Okay, like if you take a real pop up, you will be you can able uh, you can be able to move that anywhere of uh, like out of the browser as well if you want to. But here it is not possible. Okay, so for the normal user, if you take like they don't see much much of this stuff, right? So that is what we will try to exploit here. So you can see here like uh, and. Uh, a title a logo an ssl icon here okay and uh, this particular stuff okay uh which we can change that okay so now let me go back and let me open this particular index.html okay uh only thing you need to do is guys you need to uh, modify this index.html in order to get a proper page okay so you can right click uh, okay you can open that with the help of any editor which can be notepad or anything else so I'll open that with the help of my sublime text. So like you can see like this is a simple HTML code and you can see like there is a title uh, hyphen access hyphen title hyphen access. Uh, so if you go back to the page, you can see this is nothing but the uh, stuff here. So. So now what we'll try to do is like we'll try to uh, make this some few changes. Okay, like uh, I'll be trying to just show you guys like how you can do it. But if you want me to show you really how these things to be done, like uh, how to host this stuff on an ng rock or a server and how you can try to uh, attack this part or how you can try to create this okay, into a real attack do let me know in the comments. So I'll try my level best in order to show that. Okay, so I'll try to do this something like this sign uh, into Microsoft account. Okay, so I'll save that. Okay, so and also there is something like uh, a domain name and also some path etc like that. So let's change that as well. So domain name will be uh, accounts dot uh, microsoft dot com but if you are feeling like a bit doubt so what you can do simply is like you can go to that particular uh, website like any website guys and just shaking microsoft as an example dot com so mostly accounts dot microsoft dot com is related to uh, managing microsoft stuff okay so like login hyphen live you can do anything like that so you can see like if you take it so this is what uh we need to change right so what we'll try to do is we'll copy all this stuff and we'll paste it okay control c like you need to do a bit of reverse engineering also guys okay in order to make sure to look this particular thing uh, as convincing as possible okay so copy this some stuff here and uh, paste this stuff here and uh, save this stuff and now if you go back to the page and if you do a simple reload now you can see like it is as similar as this right sign into your microsoft account login dot live dot com etc like that so and also guys there is no form here like if you take to the real websites there will be some login stuff like uh, it will ask you for uh, a what do you call a username and the password you can simply do that uh, with the help of forms there is a option in html called as forms so i'll do leave the link for this also in the description below like if you want to create some forms you can do check this out okay and uh, you can do mention that and once they click on that you can uh, uh, keep an option like there will be a login option here etc like that okay so i'll go back to the page so you can see like you can create a form like this a username and a password and then you can uh, once once you click on login so you can put an action like send these particular parameters to particular uh, my domain let us assume that i created a fake domain like evilhacker.com so i'll send a post request kind of thing to this particular stuff and i can capture those things so that is how you can take this particular uh, attack research to the next level and as i told you earlier if you want me to uh, uh, like do all this stuff that i'm saying right now you can do mention that i'm not doing that right now because it is going to 
be a bigger video okay so that is it guys for today's video i leave all the links of the resources in the description below you can do check that out and th that's it for this video this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you